Okay, so in the next video, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have a couple of hours working through the website. I'm going to go through, change some of the styling, um, change some of this text, you know, I'll remove this image, um, and do some other bits just to tidy up the, the website, make it a bit more funky, um, put some more bits and pieces on. And that's it. So I'll record what I'm doing. And then I'll probably speed it up, so and then you can see what's happening as we go. So I'm going to concentrate first of all on the front page. So I'm going to be moving a bit quicker now as I'm doing the training because you've covered a lot of it already. Um, a lot of it's just image work and sizing work. So we'll go to the home page and do it in Elementor. As we go down, I'm going to make this a bit wider so the text is just a little bit more spread out. If I think rightly, there's a bit of a gap there at the side, which is fine. Um, I've got the shop now button, I'll take that. Shop now, yeah, it's got a black border on it. Now, here I'm going to leave these at the moment. Um, although they're not linking to anything, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to you can hear what we can do, we've got this title and I'm going to go and link it to product categories so I'll make the So once I send this back to the client, he can sort of give me a bit more guidance of what he wants. Um, some collection, free shipping on all orders, if I can make that £100. hundred hundred pounds. So if they order five or more, that means they can get free shipping. Delete that button. Some text under here. Centralise it or make it white. Okay, some collection but that's not linking through. I haven't got any um, testimonials, although I'm going to go and have a quick. So I'm going to take these pictures and add these onto the, the website, some quite good ones in amongst all of these. Let's have a look on the Facebook page. Views, any views, no reviews yet. All right, that's not a problem. So what I'll do for the moment, I'm just going to remove that whole area. Okay, and we've got this, which is the um, okay. What should we do with this? Do you want to say? Yeah, we'll go with that. So, 25%.
percent off. Don't have to grab that offer. Um, delete that button, so we've just got that. This image is a transparency. You can see by these little blocks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in, I'm going to create transparency. So, if we see what size was this image. Seven fifty by seven six seven. So we'll look for something roughly that way, seven fifty. Seven fifty by eight hundred. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we'll just open that up to new image. And what I'm thinking about, I'm just going to put one of their logos in now. So I'm going to open. There we go, that's quite cool. And there's a song cool one. So I might add these around the website as well. 715. That's a PNG, that's a high quality image. We'll nick that one. We'll just use it as its size. There we go. Yeah, that's alright. And what I'll do, I'll just run that PNG through. So I'm not even going to bother resizing that, we'll just see what happens. So it's 352, it's now 123, which is nice and good. Okay, I've run it through there, I'm going to rename it. Grim Reaper. Not load. There he is. We'll just see what happens, see if it works or doesn't work. You know, sometimes you just got to do a bit of trial and error. Okay, so that looks quite cool. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can increase a bit of padding around it. Let's do a margin. Guys, so if we do, oops, not maybe not that much now. Margin of 150, so we've got that there. And he's coming out grabbing his little bargain, which I think is quite good. Um, got categories there. Order tracking, express delivery. Uh, so we're going to change this. We're going to put just. Delivery. Delivery. Content, we'll centralize the content now, see, so it's nice and now. And what we'll do, we'll come back and I'm going to here delivery. Now, on this one, all the tracking, if they just send them via the wrong way, you won't get all the tracking, uh, but we will have. Change policy, return policies, terms of exchange returns. Exchanges.
exchange policy. Any exams? Okay, and then again, we'll go on here, we'll centralize it just to make it look nice. There we go. Again, what I'm going to link this one to, I'm just going to link this straight to the shop because I can add stuff into there later. Okay, content, centralize that. Okay, so that looks okay. I'll we'll get rid of that bottom piece. I'm going to create a bit of space around this so if you want a bit more room at the top, there you go. so we can create a bit more space around it. I'm also going to give them border. Think space border solid. Do one in the black and we'll create a box shadow. Fifteen. Fifteen. Very light shadows. There we go. And now what we can do on hover, we'll click on the box shadow, and we'll just click in here, we'll click in here. And you see it makes the box go flat. So it just gives it a little bit of something different. Um, should really go and make that the same, which I will do in a second. 15. 15. Same as the last one. Okay, so we've got our little boxes that go flat when we hover over them and they link off to the relevant pages of the website. We've got a couple of categories here at the moment, product categories. And again, create a bit of space above this just to... And we've got our featured t-shirts. Grim Reaper there, which is quite cool because he's up in the white section there as well. Um, we've got these linking through to the men's, the women's pre shipping will be automatically applied. I'm going to change this background image. Um, I think I'll just use a logo like we did before. Oh, they are. That one. I don't know what size that is. That's a JPEG, so it might not quality very well. Let's see if there's a PNG of it. We'll try it, we'll see. And then we've got another one here. We'll try that as well. We'll just see. Okay, so I'm going to change this. Yeah. 
Let's start the media. So that's actually worked okay. Quite like that. And then we've got pictures, images there. Again, I'm going to put a little bit more space at the top. T shirt. I'll update that. Okay, so it's starting to look a bit more website ish. This bit at the bottom, I'm going to make a copy of. Because I'm going to add that into the other pages. So now I'll put that across. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go and add and style the thingy a little bit better. Appearance, header and footer builder. Okay. Uh, edit with Elementor. What I'm going to do around the back of here. Let me just try something. Quite like that. I'm going to put it there. And center. I'll do it fixed. So. Split into there. This back again. Finally, messing around here. This is just again. This is when you're just doing your styling. Um, this image at the background. I'm going to create this image of that. Adding in, I might have to resize all of this in the images. Just cover. Hmm. So. Unfortunately, that should be about right. Okay, I'm going to select all of it. Copy, paste. Centralize that. So let me really do this in Canva and all sorts of things. And then I'm going to create an image. Oh, let's lay up. If you bought this course and you do want a copy of this, I'll put links down to it and get Photoshop from. It's dead cheap off of Amazon. Um, so I'll put a link on there. And it's something you'll use for just about everything. Smiling. 
Okay, so back in Tiny Paint here, we'll run it again. Well, that's a bit better. Now, clear that. So I cleared that. Since so that scroll. And we'll put the back black into the, the actual overlay. Darken it. There we go. Like that. Quite happy with that. No reason why we can put this. You know, catch screws we can put. Spelling has a little bit to be desired. Not very least. So the other ones will put it on top and just call it shop. accounts or whatever. Oh, I'll flip around. I'm just going to stick with car for all of them. All... Check out, there we go. Um, quick links, I'm going to add another. Duplicate this one, I'm going to make this one. So, where the maths goes completely, it's a seven. I'll make that one. Right, we get the calculator on, just give us a sec. 
can't play it on this card for 70 divided by 3. 23.3, so make all of these. 23.3, one cross. There you go, so that is contact. Don't bloody remember. Um, yeah. I'm just not sure it's a contact. They've not got a location yet. Okay, so we've got Facebook, Instagram, all their sort of products, links to all the bits and pieces on the website, down here, the Memories of Mayhem. We want to make this center, just balance it more centralized like that. Okay, happy with that. I'll just stop this one and then go on to the next one.